the next step, once we have successfully pre-programmed up our uh, Edition Argos 5 toolbox, is to actually save this, the information onto a USB stick. And we might do this either to keep it for safekeeping or also more likely to uh, program additional boxes, okay? So what we do at this point is we can just flick quickly through the channels and we can see we've programmed up over 300 channels on this particular one. So that's actually basically everything. Normally a channel list would be much smaller than that. But what we do is we're going to use a USB key. So on the tvtrade.ie uh, website we sell both hard drives and also USB key and in this particular one here a two gigabyte although one gigabyte would be pr plenty big. So what we do here is we uh, I'm just going to turn this box around here and we can see that there's a USB port on the back of the box. So I just take the cover off my USB key and I push it in here and you can see on the screen it's detected the device and um, it's in a format that it's readable. Okay. Now, if we were worried that it wasn't in a particularly readable format, we hit the menu button here and we come along and we look for the PVR um, sub-menu here. Now, if we don't have a hard drive in it, it won't actually be available to us. So we can come down here to a USB HDD format, come along and just format the hard drive. So obviously you only want to do this if um, you don't have anything on the USB that you don't want to, to lose, okay? So the format is complete, so a very, very quick process. Simply exit out here. And the next thing here is we want to actually go and we want to save the information on it. So uh, what we want to do is we want to come across to um, the system uh, menu. And the option here is back up to HDD. Okay, now you can all see another option there we'll cover later, which is upgrade from HDD. So if it was a blank box, you'd be programming from scratch. So just come along here and just go uh, back up to HDD, press OK. And um, we have different options here. We can back up the software, uh, the settings, the default, uh, the um, settings and default are backup all. So for our initial thing here, we'll simply come along and do backup all. So we come along and it asks us um, where we'd like to save it. So the C drive is effectively the USB key. And the file name, we simply press OK because they give it a name. And we can come along here and we might just simply choose to call it um, uh, VI. Um, and then uh, come down to uh, P, okay? And you can put in a date or something like that if you wanted to. And just hit the red button now to confirm it. And that's the name of the file. And now it gives us an option which wasn't visible before to save this. So it's simply the red button again. And what it's going to do here is it's going to do a backup of all the information, absolutely every setting. And a great thing about taking settings and things like this is sometimes on the box you have default, like the pause facility on a Vipe 2 box for whatever reason is by default uh, turned off. But um, if you get a pre-programmed box off of us or take um, a file off of the website and download the thing, uh, there's no issue there. Uh, you can simply uh, download that particular um, uh, file and all the settings, if you do the, the, do an upload, uh, will, will come like this, okay? So that, that's a backup all there. So it's a relatively quick thing. I will simply exit out and um, that's it. So that's after being saved onto our hard drive. So if we come along here and we actually went to um, uh, the file list in the PVR settings, we can actually go in here and just press OK here and uh, we'll just come along here and we'll just go to uh, software and we can actually see it's actually been saved onto our, our hard drive there. So that's a verification and we'll, we'll use that at a later point to program another box. Okay, so that's it from beginning to end, how to back up all your information from the Vite 2 onto uh, a USB key.